All right, class, today's experiment is going to be on turgor pressure, which is hydrostatic pressure. I took this tulip out of the water this morning at 8 o'clock. It's now about 7 o'clock. You can see it's gone limp because it's lost its hydrostatic pressure. We're going to add water to this vase, and I'm going to put a time-lapse video on it to see if it'll raise up and how long it will take. This also works in trees and other plants. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. Okay, you can see it took a little over three hours. Our tulip's pretty much up. Um, this works the same in other plants. For instance, we always try to relate it to my Christmas tree farm. Here's a noble fir branch. In April, the uh, branch, the buds will open and a branch will start to grow out. It could go anywhere from a few inches to a couple feet. And for the first couple months, it's not woody. It's woody now, and it has stiffness. You could cut it and it'll stay stiff. Um, interesting story, a friend of mine has a Christmas tree farm, Eddie Bauer was doing their Christmas catalog in May and they asked him to cut down a Christmas tree and ship it to them so they could do their catalog and he said, I can't. And they said, no, just send it to us. He said, you, you don't understand. The part that's growing out does, it is not woody yet. If I cut it and the tree runs out of water within a day, all the limbs will just fall limp and they won't come back up. You can cut a Christmas tree in December and put it in your house because starting in approximately September the branches start to become woody and then they become firm and they don't need the trigger pressure to hold them up. Action. Also of note uh, we had a flower droop yesterday and we put it back in water and had it come back up. We feel like it came up a lot quicker yesterday. We didn't time it and film it so we're not sure but I, I do suspect all these flowers will uh, droop eventually, they wilt. Uh, since it's a day later, the flowers are a little bit less fresh, so we suspect it takes less time. If we were to get fresh cut flowers, pull one out of water and it drooped, um, but then we put it back in water the same day, I suspect it would take less than three hours to come up, but I don't know that yet. So turgor pressure or hydrostatic pressure in plants is very similar to if you had a long balloon and you start to let air out, that balloon would go limp because there's no pressure holding it up. Same thing in plants, as it draws up water, it fills up the cells, presses the mem uh, cell membranes firm, and therefore it can hold itself up or uh, create rigidity.